So in this video, we'll see how to reverse words in a string. Now, what we want here, let's say we have a string as my name is Navin, and the output we want here is Navin is name my. So we want to reverse the. We don't want to reverse the string, but we want to print the. Uh, we want to print the words in a reverse order. Now to achieve that, the first thing we need here is a string str, which is string str equal to, in double quotes we'll mention, my name is Navin. And uh, so now, the first thing we need here is, we, we got a string. Now first we need to convert this string into a string array so that we can reverse. So we'll create a string array as A. And how to convert this string into an array? So we can simply say str dot and we, uh, we can simply say str dot there's a method called as split in uh, for string and this split will say okay I will split the words but tell me the exact point where we have to split so I will say okay after every space you have to split so my is one word name is one word and then i s which is is and navin okay now the array consists of four elements now if I try to print this, so let's, let, let me use a for loop to print the element. I will use a for loop which start which starts with 0 and then which it will end at a dot length. I mean less than a dot length and i, a, I plus plus. Now I will just print the values here just to see uh, the splitted values. So I will simply print the value of a for that particular element and we'll also print a space make sure you're not using print ln you're using print because print ln will print on new line so we want on the same line right so if I run this application you can see it is my name is Navin simple but I don't want to print in a normal format I want to print a reverse format so there are multiple ways to do that the the first way we'll go for uh, so when you print printed the values here we are, we are printing from the first value to the last value here what we'll do is we'll do reverse. So we'll start with a dot length. So if my number of variables or number of values are 4, I want to start with 3. So we'll say uh, minus 1. The next is i greater than or equal to 0 and i minus minus. So we are going in a reverse format. And then we'll print the values instead of, uh, yeah, so we'll use print. We'll print a of i with a space. And now if you run this application, you can see it is, oh, it's printing on the same line. I need to print the second statement, the new line. So I will simply use a new line statement there. And you can see it prints, my name is Navin. And the second line is, Navin is my name. So that's how you can reverse a number. So that's the one, that's the first way we can, we can do this. Otherwise, what we can do is, uh, Instead of directly printing the values, we can create one more string and we'll name this string as string str1 which is initially blank and then instead of directly printing, we'll, like, we can assign the value to string1 so we'll say string1 equal to string1 plus the value of i or the value of a plus the space and then at the end, we'll be printing the value for str1 simple and now if I run this you can see it prints my name is Navin and Navin is my name so that's how you have to reverse a string or reverse words in a string so that's it thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos